Sorry, relief. The uh, six game stay was what two games? <laughs> yeah, two games, man. I had worked hard so I can get uh, get back on the field. I know they told me four to six weeks, but I was determined to get back on the field as soon as possible and as healthy as possible. Maybe speak about the work that you went through to try and get back as uh, quick as you did, and obviously it worked. Yeah, for sure. Uh, great uh, trainers in the, uh, in the room, Cheese and Lisa helped me get back as well. Um, just a bunch of rehabbing from my shoulder and just doing what I can, mu as much as I can without hurting myself to get back. That's good news. There's enough injuries on this. Yeah, exactly. Just so stacking up, man, trying to get that list down. Yeah. <laughs> What what happened on the on the play? I remember, it was it a sideline play? Yeah, so it was a sideline tackle. Uh, it was an initial hit, but it was when I came down. The player also came down on me, and I ended up separating my AC joint, my shoulder. So it, um, it was a, my whole arm went numb, and I just couldn't go back in. So I just had to do what I can to get back on the field as soon as possible. And here you are. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> suited back up. Yes, sir. Tell me about the fact, I mean, it's good that you're, you're seeing veterans coming back off the six-game list instead of plugging plug and playing the depth players, and every team has to use their depth anyway at some point. Right. But tell me the impact of bringing on experienced players. Yeah, the experience is just, going, just knowing what to do, being in that situation before. It's just all come down to it. Uh, just being able to make a play. And uh, we all work together, having that chemistry as a group. And we, when we all together and healthy, we'll be able to make plays together as fast as possible and fluid. i got to ask, did you do any one-on-one -on -one drills in training camp with Raphael Leonard as a receiver? Oh, uh, I that's, think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I was I there for a rookie camp, yeah. I definitely went on uh, Raphael. So him switching to DB is definitely good. He's making uh, tremendous progress, and he's getting better and better every day. And what, what do you see from him as a DB, and, and, and what's, what's the improvement like? And... What is he, does, Just, he, does he ask everyone, hey, uh, what do I nah, do with he's this? De he's definitely catching on to the scheme. You know, uh, he understands how the receiver uh, moves as well, so that's definitely helping him understand and seeing uh, rock combinations uh, and all that. And it's just allowing him to play much faster. He's not thinking as much. He's able to play and make plays. It's the most important game because it's the next game. Right. The old football line. Mm -hmm. But the fact you lost 59-15 to the opponent in that same venue. Does that add to it, or do you have to? Or, or is that something you even think about? It just put a fire in us to come out there and ball out. We don't want to make the same mistakes as we did last time. We want to make less mistakes and just go out there, and make plays, and fly around and win a, and win a game. Yeah. Did you play in that one? Did you? Uh, I missed that one because of illness. Yeah, yeah. That, that might not have been the worst one to miss. Right. But yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't imagine you don't want to. You know. I wish I was out there to help. You know, yeah. help the team out as much as I can. I don't like taking big losses like that, so we definitely know what you got to work on and continue to bounce back from it's it. It's just a black eye for the whole club yeah. almost, right, mm -hmm. like at that point. Were, were they running up the score? Did they, is that what it looked like? Yeah, they was definitely running up the score, but we got to stop that this game for sure. So we definitely locking in on our schemes and uh, just preparing for this week. How about that Rourke kid? I mean, almost, I don't know. I, oh, yeah. I mean, I know he kind of tutored under Mike Riley. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's definitely year. balling right now. So we know we're going against a good quarterback. We're going to have to uh, scheme well and make sure we pay attention to small keys, small details, and continue to uh, ball out there. More film on him can't hurt. Yeah, exactly. We got to watch a ton of film on make sure we see everything, try to notice every little thing about him and make it give us an advantage. Does this defense look like more, and I know there's some more injuries that you have to work through, mm -hmm. but is this looking like the defense that should be on this football field? That, that oh, yeah, for sure. As people uh, coming off injuries, well, we started bringing uh, spring our guys together, and we look, we're getting better and better every game. So like, what I've seen, we're the number two pass defense in the, uh, in the league right now, so that's definitely an achievement. We want to be number one, and we continue to get better and better. All right. Good stuff, sir. Thanks for being here. I appreciate y'all. Best of luck, all right? All right, thank you.